In the last lecture, we completed the construction of N-channel depletion type MOSFET. We completed the construction of N-channel depletion type MOSFET. You can see on your screen the construction of N-channel depletion type MOSFET. And in this presentation, we will understand the working of the working of N-channel depletion type MOSFET. The working of N-channel depletion type MOSFET is somewhat similar to the working of N channel junction field effect transistor. The working of N channel depletion type MOSFET is similar to the working of N channel junction field effect transistor. But there is one extra feature in the working of depletion type MOSFET. There is one extra feature and I will explain this feature after some time. Now if we talk about the channel, the N channel in case of depletion type MOSFET then it is there from the beginning. The channel is there from the beginning. In case of N channel JFET, N channel is there from the beginning. So channel is there from the beginning in both the cases in case of MOSFET as well as in case of JFET and in case of 3 terminal MOSFET, in case of 3 terminal MOSFET the substrate or body terminal is connected internally to the source terminal. So I will connect the substrate terminal internally to the source terminal and after this it is grounded. In case of enhancement type MOSFET channel is not there from the beginning and to enhance the channel we made gate terminal more positive with respect to the substrate terminal to enhance the channel in case of enhancement type MOSFET we made the gate terminal more positive with respect to the substrate terminal by applying the voltage VGS we applied the voltage VGS to enhance the channel but in case of depletion type MOSFET channel is there from the beginning so there is no need to enhance the channel and we can even start with VGS equal to 0 volt we can start with VGS equal to 0 volt in case of depletion type MOSFET and if you remember the lecture on junction field effect transistor in that case also we started with VGS equal to 0 volt the JFET and the depletion type MOSFET will work absolutely perfectly when VGS is equal to 0 volt but in case of enhancement type MOSFET the channel will never enhance and the MOSFET will not work so we will make VGS 0 volt by connecting the source and the gate. You can see VGS is equal to 0 volt in this type of connection. Now what will happen if we apply voltage VDS, voltage VDS across the drain to source terminal and the polarity you can see the positive terminal is connected to the drain and the negative terminal is connected to the source because of VDS current ID will flow through the channel electrons are there in the channel and as we are making the drain terminal positive the electrons will be attracted towards the drain terminal and the equivalent current will be established and it will flow in the opposite direction so current ID the drain current will established in this direction now on increasing voltage VDS on increasing voltage VDS what will happen to the current ID as voltage VDS is increasing this means we are making drain terminal more positive VDS is equal to VD minus VS and if we increase VDS this implies VD is increasing we are making the drain terminal more positive so more electrons will be attracted towards the drain terminal and the drain current will increase so on increasing VDS the drain current ID will also increase but after some time the drain current will become constant and after this even if you increase voltage VDS ID will remain the same after some time the drain current will become constant and even if you increase voltage VDS the drain current will remain the same. 
Now let's try to understand why current is becoming constant. We already know this point that on increasing VDS, VD is increasing. So the drain terminal is becoming more positive. As you can see, the positive potential at the end type material at the end type material is increasing and due to this reason the pn junction is becoming more reverse biased p type material and n type material are in contact and here we have the pn junction and this pn junction is becoming more reverse biased if vds is increasing and when reverse biasing increases the width of depletion region will also increase and due to increment in the depletion region the channel will become narrow the channel will become narrow and if you go on increasing voltage vds the channel will become very narrow and only limited amount of electrons will pass so the current id will become constant the similar type of thing happened in case of junction field effect transistors also when we increased voltage vds pinch off occurred and uh, in that condition in that condition the drain current id we called idss idss is the maximum drain current this is true in case of depletion type mosfet also id constant we call idss which is the maximum drain current in case of MOSFET when VGS is equal to 0 volt but there is one very important point related to this maximum current in case of J FET IDSS is the maximum drain current for J FET and this occurs at VGS equal to 0 volt but in case of MOSFET MOSFET depletion type MOSFET IDSS is only the maximum current when VGS is equal to 0 volt. It is not the maximum current of depletion type MOSFET. The depletion type MOSFET can have the current more than IDSS also and this happens when VGS is positive. In case of JFET, we cannot make VGS positive. This was not allowed. VGS must always be less than or equal to zero volt but in case of depletion type mosfet vgs can be positive it can be zero and it can be negative so this is the extra feature in case of depletion type mosfet if we compare it with the junction field effect transistor and now we know we can make VGS positive 0 as well as negative. Let's try to understand what will happen if we make VGS negative and if we make VGS positive. We have already seen the working of MOSFET when VGS is equal to 0 volt. So let's move to the second case in which VGS is equal to minus 1 volt. Let's move to the case number 2 in which gate to source voltage is equal to minus 1 volt and to understand the working i will magnify this region i will magnify this region of the mosfet we have the n channel this is the n channel over which we have the layer of silicon dioxide and then we have metal contact of the gate and this is the gate terminal this is the metal contact of the gate this is the silicon dioxide and this is the n channel and below n channel below n channel we have the p type substrate in case of vgs equal to minus 1 volt the negative potential at the gate will repel the electrons of the n channel when VGS is equal to minus 1 volt, the negative potential will be there at the gate and electrons, electrons in the N channel will be pushed towards the P substrate like this and the negative potential at the gate will also attract the holes from the P substrate. There are holes in the P substrate and this negative potential 
will attract the holes from the p substrate so there are two actions happening when vgs is equal to minus 1 volt in the first action electrons in the n channel this is n channel electrons in the n channel are pushed and the holes in the p substrate p substrate are attracted towards the gate so these are the two actions and uh, due to this recombination between electrons and holes will occur electrons and holes will recombine like this now what will happen because of this recombination the available electrons for conduction will decrease because of recombination the reduction of free charge carriers which are electrons in the n channel will happen i will write this down available electrons for the conduction will decrease and due to less electrons present in the n channel the current id the current id will also decrease this explanation is very important i hope you understand what will happen when vgs is equal to minus 1 volt or it is negative when vgs was equal to 0 volt let's say vds was equal to vdd this is some random drain to source voltage and if we apply the same drain to source voltage in case number 2 vds equal to vdd and let's say the drain current is id1 in case number 1 and the drain current is id2 in case number 2 then the drain current id1 will be larger as compared to id2 this is happening because vgs is negative and initially vgs was equal to 0 volt vds is same it is equal to vdd but the current is reduced because of less electrons available for conduction i hope you understand how the recombination process is happening and how it is affecting the drain current now let's move to the last case the case number three in which vgs is equal to one volt this means vgs is positive the positive potential the positive potential at the gate will draw additional electrons from the p type substrate the minority charge carriers are there in the substrate the minority charge carriers are electrons and these minority charge carriers are attracted towards the n channel because of positive gate and uh, the collision will occur between the accelerating particles the collision will occur between the accelerating particles and the new carriers will be established due to this the drain current id will increase rapidly i will write this down the drain current id will increase rapidly this word is very important the drain current is increasing rapidly because of collision between the accelerating particles and it is happening because we are providing the positive potential at the gate in this scenario we must take care of the maximum drain current the maximum drain current we must know and we must increase the voltage vgs to the safe level because a small change in voltage vgs obviously making it more positive the drain current increases rapidly so this is all for this lecture this is the complete working of depletion type mosfet if you have any doubt in the three cases we discussed you may ask in the comment section in the next lecture we will plot the transfer and drain characteristics of n channel depletion type mosfet